Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today I'll present to you the program Bachelor of Dietetics with Honours offered by the Department of Nutrition Sciences, Kulia of Allied Health Sciences, which I'll refer to as CAS, International Islamic University, Malaysia. I am Dr. Muhammad Ashraf bin Rustam, one of the lecturers in this department, and let's look at this course inshallah. Okay, now let's start by beginning with the end in mind. Once you have completed the Bachelor of Dietetics program, you are qualified to become a dietitian. So, the definition of a dietitian is a healthcare professional who has knowledge and skills to conduct nutritional assessment and diagnosis and then from these, they are able to prescribe medical nutrition therapy and provide dietary consultation to an individual or population level whether these people are in a disease state or they are healthy. A dietitian as a profession, you may be able to work in several related areas. For example, in catering or food service management, a dietitian would be the ones who would contribute towards providing the proper menu in a school, for example, and other food service providers. A dietitian can work as a freelance consultant, providing the public through mass media, for example, television, and also using media platforms. As you can see, there's one photo here showing our own student who use the mass media platform. Specifically, here is a YouTube channel, ML Studios, where she provided tips and, and strategies for a good dietary lifestyle. In the academia, you may be able to become a lecturer, providing or teaching the theoretical and practical skills for future dietitians and nutritionists. And in the hospitals, you will be able to provide medical nutrition therapy and dietary consultation for patients who are recovering from diseases and at the same time there are freelance uh, dietitians where they offer consultations for example to athletes so we do have our students and alumni doing that so this is a bit more a systematic categories of the places or the areas that a dietitian may work in so here you can see in red is the clinical or healthcare in blue is the community and public health in yellow uh, food service or management as i've mentioned previously and then in academia and research where they search for new areas or for new information with regards to dietary lifestyle dietary uh, planning and so on and so forth others would include food and nutrition industry for example in research and development. We did once had a dietitian working in this department who was a former R&D member in Nestle. So other places also is consultation, doing a freelance, um, communication and journalism, providing corporate wellness to corporate um, sectors and also in entrepreneurship. So these are among the uh, prospects that you may be able to work in once you've completed this program. To become a competent and effective dietitian, among the core values that is required for that individual uh, can be categorized into two components. So at the personal qualities, one of it is that the person must be very people oriented. I think by now we should know that as a dietitian, the main work or the main nature of the work is meeting people and always talking to people. So that person needs to have a very good personal communication skills. And then in terms of knowledge, he or she needs to have strong science foundation, which includes knowledge on pathology, physiology, biochemistry, pharmacology, psychology, and etc. All these fundamental theoretical knowledge are important to integrate and apply during your dietary consultation and medical nutrition therapy. And at the same time, the personal qualities is also that person needs to possess genuine interest in food as everything as a dietitian starts with um, food and we believe that the food reflects and produces the outcome inside a person whether that person will become healthy or sick. So the other component would be on uh, talents. This would include the necessity to have a good um, skills in public speaking, in writing articles so that we may be able to convey our ideas in written form and then at times a dietitian should be able to appear on broadcast media and at the same time he or she needs to have basic knowledge in business, marketing and IT. One of those important core values in this uh, new age. Okay, now let's look on the program details for this particular program. So the Bachelor of Dietetics in UIA is offered by the Department of Nutrition Science. This department was officially established in 2003 and we had 
our first intake in July 2004. And the Pioneer Batch, which is a class of 11, successfully graduated in 2000 uh, sorry, 2008, alhamdulillah. Let's now look at the program information. This program has been given accreditation by the MQA or Malaysian Qualifications Agency. And you can see here that they have given and officially provided with the name Bachelor of Dietetics, the Malaysian Qualification Registration Code or MQR 11176. Duration of studies will be four years and this date of program being offered is in June 2004. And prior to all of this, we had an IIUM level approval by the Senate in 2002 and by the Majlis in 2003. And we had given approval by the Jabatan Pengajian Tinggi in 2003. And finally, approval by the Jabatan Perkhidmatan Awam or JPA in 2008. And I'd like to highlight, JPA approval is important because it allows for those who have completed and received this certificate for degree of Bachelor of Dietetics to be able to work in the government sector. So inshallah, once you've completed and received the degree, you can work in the government hospitals and clinics and so on and so forth, inshallah. The objectives of this program includes the aim to produce dietetic professionals who competently apply knowledge and skills to contribute to the improvement of health in local and global community. Second is that we aim to produce dietitians who can communicate effectively across multicultural societies at multiple levels. And then we also aim to produce dietitians who can lead and engage in multidisciplinary teams in problem-solving tasks across disciplines. We need to know that um, during your working experience, in the hospitals, dietitian is one of the team members in the allied health force and also the doctors. So we need to be able to communicate effectively with people from the dis different discipline so that the outcome is important and the outcome is good for our patients. And fourth is that we aim to produce dietitians who can utilize ICT to enhance their knowledge and skills and they also possess entrepreneurial skills. And finally, a dietitian who can integrate Islamic principles. So this is aligned with the vision of IIUM. And that dietitian also would have ethical and professional values where they practice it in their career undertakings as well as in their daily activities. Let's look at the four-year study plan for Bachelor of Dietetics. So it's divided into three main courses. The first one is the university required courses. It's those subjects that all the students in URA needs to learn. The second is Kulia required courses, which are a general basic health sciences courses that all students of Allah Health Sciences in CAS needs to learn. And finally is the department core courses, which are those specific for this Bachelor of Dietetics students, which includes the ones written here, nutrition and health, nutrition in life cycles, principles of food preparation, food science, food analysis, nutritional biochem, nutritional microbe, social cultural aspects of nutrition, Islamic practices in food and nutrition. This is something that is very close to UIA. And in third year, you will be able to learn on research projects in dietetics and you will produce a thesis after that. So among those pure dietetic courses is medical nutrition therapy where you will have three levels, basic, intermediate and advanced. And then you'll learn about counselling skills for dietitians and this will be fun. In the fourth year, you will go to clinical placements uh, divided into three main areas. Food service for about four weeks, you'll go into community nutrition for four weeks and you will do clinical rotations in outpatient and inpatient wards where at 20 uh, weeks in the hospital setting. So this is something very important. So you will be learning the real skills in real situations. Okay, let's look at the staffs who are the backbones of this department. This is the organization chart for our department. The person who oversees it is the head of the department or HOD. And we have three admin staffs and five experts in different fields. The first is in dietetics, who are the lecturers and also the clinicians. And we have experts in nutrition, food science, nutritional biochemistry and behavioral science. 
So let's look into detail. We have three associate professors. First is Dr. Muhammad Muzaffar, then the Dr. Muhammad bin Ibrahim, our HOD, and Dr. Ibrahim Abu Bakar. We have two assistant professors who are the academic advisors. So these two people are the ones who you can refer to with regards to your academic plans. This is Dr. Noor Azwani, who is the academic advisor for the second and third year current students. And Dr. Muhammad Ashar Rostam, which is me, um, who is responsible for the first and fourth year student. And this is the list of our assistant professors consisting of Dr. Wan Azdi, Dr. Hanapi, Dr. Wan Fatin, Dr. Aliza, Dr. Nur Aniza, Dr. Nurul Hazira, and our most recent lecturer, Dr. Muhammad Arif Ibrahim. We have also lecturers who are on study leave consisting of Sister Nur Suzana, Sister Afla Afandi, Sister Nur Ashikin, Sister Nur Aisha, and Sister Rosanadia. They are pursuing their PhD and inshallah they will join our team uh, once they have finished and completed the studies. And the dietitians also who are involved in your clinical placement in uh, third and fourth year. So this includes all of these eight. Uh, Sister Rosanis, Sister Nur Amira, Sister Sajida, Brother Lokman, Brother Muhammad. Hazim, Brother Muhammad Shafiq, Sister Azrin and Sister Nur Atira. They will help you along your clinical journey. We have also the technical and administrative staffs, Sister Wan Nazma Fazira, Sister Fatin Nabila and Sister Nur Izati. So what are the facilities that we provide to our students? We have four seminar rooms which can accommodate to a maximum capacity of 35 students and then five labs, including the food preparation lab, food analysis lab, anthropometry lab, food microbiology lab, and sensory lab. And our most latest facility is the dietetics clinic. This is the food analysis lab, where you will learn on proximate analysis of nutrition inside the food. For example, you learn how to analyze the protein content, fat content, inside the food. So here is the lab where you learn all this. And then in the food microbiology lab, you learn on the microbes or bacteria inside certain foods where they can contaminate your food. This is one of those unique labs where you can find in CAS. So it's the food preparation lab or we call it as the kitchen. And this is where you learn about food preparation. So this is uh, something very unique to a Bachelor of Dietetics. In the anthropometry lab, this is the place where you will be learning on the accurate measurement of a person's weight, a person's height, and then analyze the body composition with regards to muscle mass, fat composition, and so on and so forth. And this is important so that this information will be used towards planning a customized dietary plan for that individual. And then we have a new facility, which is the Dietetics Clinic. This has been launched last year, and it's a place for our dietitian to provide dietary consultations to people within IIUM and outside IIUM, um, within the community of Kuantan. Besides those facilities inside or within IIUM Kuantan campus, we do have collaborations with other facilities, specifically hospitals, um, around uh, Malaysia. And um, these are training institutes. For example, here is the venues for your dietetic placement. First is the Klinik Kesihatan Besra in Kuantan, Klinik Kesihatan Bandar Kuantan, the Hospital Tengku Abuan Afzan or HTAA Kuantan, Hospital Pekan, Hospital Sultan Haji Ahmad Shah Temelo or Hoshas. And outside of Pahang, we have Hospital Sungai Buloh, Hospital Kajang, Hospital Ampang. In Johor, we have Hospital Pakar, Sultan Amina. In Terengganu, we have Hospital Sultan Anur Zahira. In KL, we have Pusat Perubatan University Malaya or PPUM. And also several other private hospitals where we send you to do the food service um, sessions. And I think that's a bit an overview of the Department of Nutrition Science and with regards to your, the program that inshallah you will one day be learning and studying. So hopefully you will enjoy this program and see you in class.